हेलो रिबन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एम एफ सी सी मेल फ्रिक्वेंसीज सेप्टल कोफिशेंट सो इफ यू रिमेम सो वॉट वील टॉक अबाउट वील टॉक वॉट इट इज वील टॉक हाउ टू एक्सट्रैक्ट दिस वील टॉक द यूज केसेज एंड इन लास्ट वीडियो इफ यू रिमेंबर वी टॉक अबाउट मेल स्पेक्टोग्राम सो दैट इज प्री रिक्वेस्टेड फॉर दिस ऑल्सो यू शुड नो वॉट इज मेल स्पेक्टोग्राम uh what's the process which is used to extract that and uh, all the basic information about it so let me give you a quick recap also in last video we talked about men spectrogram we started from uh, we saw the process uh, this is uh, where we start from finding the wave from using the raw audio file and then we divide that audio signal into overlapping frames and uh, using hamming window technique uh, then we applied stft which is short term fourier transform then we converted uh so F stft what it does it output the output of that is power spectrogram then what we do we apply mel filter bank so we create mel filter bank using the number of mel bands we want to use and uh, then we apply that uh to the power spectrogram to obtain mel spectrogram uh sometimes what we also do for better visualization we convert this to logarithmic scale Uh, which can be done using any matplotlib library and uh, that helps us for a better interpretation but an interpretation of mel spectrogram in this video what we are going to do we are going to proceed from there and uh, so we know mel spectrogram pro uh, provides us the compact representation of audio signal it captures relevant features that enhance performance of ml models and um, mel spectrograms are uh, the very important point about mel spectrogram which you should know as it is designed to align with the human perceived uh, sound frequencies it emphasizes on the lower frequencies or uh, reflecting the human ear sensitivity to the sound making it more effective for audio analysis it provides us information about spectral characteristics of individual and uh, peaks and patterns in the mel spectrogram can indicate specific frequencies or patterns in audio signal so um, formants in the speech can be identified as concentration of energies at different frequencies so mel spectrogram if you observe that uh, you can analyze and the sound patterns emotions as you can see in the slide a uh, different kinds of emotion can be easily identified if you focus on your mel spectrogram uh because uh that is very distinct in case of all the emotions so we can distinguish between emotion we can distinguish between the type of sound we can distinguish between the uh between the speaker by extracting uh, and uh, what we can also do using this mel spectrogram we can extract features which is going to be used in ml models for various tasks like which we talked about emotion recognition speech recognition and uh, speaker identification so because these are just images right this is just a uh, image mel spectrogram is just a visual representation how to use that in machine learning model that we are going to do today what we are going to do we will learn what is mfcc it is a feature which gets out of the mel spectrogram so the features are called mel frequency sepstrel coefficients and um, we'll see how we'll get that but uh, what it does it provides us to re way to represent mel spectrogram as a matrix a 2d vector uh, which you can say is a mathematical format and that we can use in the machine learning modeling because if you remember uh, what the feature extraction uh, the definition of feature extraction is it is referred to the process of transforming raw data into numerical features that can be processed while preserving the information in the data set so this is the image you know mel uh, spectrogram is a image and this is a data which is a very relevant but how you can convert it to the mathematical format in such a way that you preserve the information and which can be used in machine learning modeling so that is done by mfcc right so uh, in this 2d vector of mfcc the numbers represent the features uh, for each audio frame now let's see how do we extract uh, if this is a example of how mfcc looks like and these numbers are nothing but the feature values 
Now, how do we extract that? For that, we I have a Google Collab here for you. So, so this is a function of extracting features. What we need, we just need an audio file. I've stored an audio file at this path. We apply this function to extract features from this audio file. And this, this function is very straightforward and simple because Librosa library in Python makes it easier for us. We can, uh, it helps us to get the uh, waveform from the audio file. Then it also provides us feature directly feature to, uh, you know, uh, to do MFCC and uh, it directly, uh, there's a inbuilt function. You can say, we just need to normalize these features for better uh, understanding. We do it using standard scalar, which is present uh, again under sklearn and uh, yeah, we get the features. So feature looks like this. This is the array or the shape of the array. It's a matrix. It's not a vector uh, because why it's matrix because their uh, matrix has rows and column. So uh, generally features are just columns. So what is the row? Row is the number of uh, audio frames present in the audio file. And each audio frame has these 13 number of features, which are MFCC, which is the main important thing, what we are going to do. So this is how you extract MFCC. Now, before talking about use case, uh, let's understand what these numbers actually mean. Uh, so uh, coming back to this, so, uh, these coefficient capture important characteristic about the audio signal, such as shape of the vocal track. Uh, which can be useful in the task like speech and audio recognition. Each row corresponds to a single frame. As I talked about, each column represents a specific MFCC feature. The interpretation of these numbers can be complex and depends on the context of your audio data and characteristics of the speakers involved in it. So generally what happens is MFCC captures information related to the sh shape of the vocal tract uh, in during the production of the speech. And uh, the features, uh, the initial features of MFCC, what I mean by initial features, if you see, um, so this is a, a MFCC for the first audio frame, right? So I took that out of the matrix and just this row I've pasted over here. So there are 13 features. This is uh, representing the first audio frame. You can also write it over here. The first audio frame looks like this. In Python, uh, first, I think I have to write like that. So now it's fine. So first audio frame looks like this 13, uh, values as 13 length vector. Each is a MFCC coefficient. So I was talking about the initial MFCC coefficient, uh, represents the, you know, for few initials of them represents, uh, the overall structure of the audio frame, overall energy patterns in the audio frame, right? So, and the higher the order, as you move uh, higher in degrees or like these features, they become very specific uh, to some characteristic in that particular audio frame. So, uh, typically uh, the MFCC coefficient, each coefficient captures different aspect of the audio signal. Uh, let me just uh, go a bit, uh, bit more in there. So, if this is the your first MFCC, we call it MFCC zero first coefficient it often referred to as constant term it represent overall energy of the signal and the second coefficient this represent the uh, overall spectral scope and it is uh, slope it is related to uh, your perceived pitch third coefficient captures special information like uh, related to shape of the vocal tract and associated with the format of the speech the fourth coefficient reflects changes in the spectral envelope and can be related to nasality in the speech. And the now, um, after four and above, uh, the MFCC, uh, these feature, they capture more detailed char spectral characteristics, providing information about the fine spectral structures, very fine spectral structures in the audio. So they are very detailed. After this onwards, these features are very detailed to a, spe a specific characteristic. It is also important to note that interpretation of these coefficient can be varying depending on the uh, characteristic of the audio signal and the context of application, uh, the use case you are applying it to. Additionally, the meaning of MFCC is often uh, easily understood in the context of speech and processing. 
uh, if you access the documentation and literature associated with the data set uh, that will help you to gain more insights from these coefficients like uh, if you have the data like why are this uh, what is the reference for this audio file if you have these kind of information meta information about the audio file uh, you can club it with the you know coefficients and the two uh, make better insights to make better features and uh, now coming back to the slide let's talk about the use cases so so mfcc is very much useful uh, you know we talked about because because they uh, they they are very much related to how human perceive sounds we talked this in the previous slides also and we clearly saw how how good it can be in case of emotion recognition because it is very uh, distinguished uh, every emotion is very distinguished from each other so there are in fact many use cases uh, which uh, uh, every any time we have to do uh, processing of human speech uh, male spectrogram and uh, mfcc features are your uh, you know you should it should be your go to uh, way of doing any ml modeling uh, for human speech uh, so that's why uh, the first and the foremost uh, use cases speech recognition so to uh in automatic speech recognition system AR, asr systems like uh deep gram whisper from open ai and uh, uh, nova model from deep gram actually so they uh, they all uses this mfcc coefficients to provide compact representation of the speech and which enables machine to understand and process human speech more effectively uh, second can be the speaker identification, uh, which I am really interested in, and uh, hopefully the next video will be very soon on speaker identification, which in which we will use this MFCC features that we have just uh, extracted uh, from the audio files. So we'll use that to identify the speakers, uh, and uh, in this what we do, we distinguish different speakers by their cat capturing unique vocal characteristics, and. Uh, uh, we uh, use these features uh, to train machine learning models to classify and identify speakers if you let's say if you have data from let's say 50 speakers and you have trained uh, on them your uh, model using the mfcc features from the audio files which you got out of them and then if a new audio file comes to you you should be uh, good enough to uh, you know you should uh, you should have a model which can classify and identify which speaker uh, you know this uh, audio file belongs to which speaker and uh, the third is emotion recognition uh, we see all the example in the slide also and uh, this is also one of the very um, uh, you know uh, very much uh, uh, exciting research topic i think so i think say so. uh, so in this you can employ a machine learning model which uses these mfcc coefficients for uh, classifying your human emotions and uh, analyze the emotional tone of the speech uh, you can do it by capturing subtle variations in the vocal characteristics and uh, coefficients can be used to determine those emotional state of the speaker and there are many more tasks like music uh, genre classification audio comparison and uh, noise identification so all that can be done uh, using the MFCC features and male spectrogram. So that's it in this video. Thank you guys for joining. Hope to see you in, uh, in the next video soon. Okay, bye.